This is Melissa Kopinski on the girls' tennis team here at UIUC. We asked her some questions and hear her insights on LGBT peoples and sports. Uh, we are pretty much a family, so I mean, if someone were, I don't think you would treat them any differently than we do now. Yeah, there are a couple athletes my year and there are a few coaches out there. Um, they're pretty much accepted within the athletic community, uh, not treated differently at all. It would be considered, I guess, negative at first, not within the team, but I guess with uh, society. Uh, everyone watching the match, people coming, fans. We went down south once and we did play a team where the girls were lesbian and um, the fans were pretty ruthless. There are a lot of nasty comments and they're pretty much harassing the girls. In recent years, a number of athletes, both collegiate and professional, male and female, have come out as either LGBT or in support of LGBT teammates. While most are supported, others are challenged. Brandon Ian Badejo is a former Baltimore Raven. He had spent some time on the Miami Dolphins and Chicago Bears in years prior. He is an advocate for legalizing same-sex marriage. Jamie Kunt played college football for North Dakota State College of Science. Jamie was seen kissing his boyfriend at a game by one of his teammates, who told the coach about the kiss. Jamie lied to his coach about it, saying that he did not kiss anyone and that the man with him was his grandfather. Later. Jamie decided to tell his coach the truth about what happened. After telling the truth, Jamie got kicked off the team for being a distraction to the game and for lying about the kiss. However, there is controversy whether he would have even been kicked off the team if seen kissing a girlfriend instead of a boyfriend. In 2010, Kai Alms became the first openly transgender player to play Division I college basketball. Biologically female, Alums is a transgender male. However, he remained playing on the women's team at George Washington University for his junior year. Though openly supported by his teammates and coach, he decided to leave the team his senior year to continue the physical transition process from female to male. Carly Kickert, the Indiana University varsity at Coxon and a member of the USA Junior National Rowing Team, had this to say in response to the question, do you think Indiana University rowing fans would react positively or negatively if they knew a rower was gay or bisexual? In an article with ESPN, two NBA executives talked about the possibility of having an NBA player come out on their team. From a front office standpoint, anything that would take away from team chemistry, fair or not, is a concern, one said. The truth is that a lot of players don't want that guy in the locker room. And sadly, execs have to factor in how their star player and major guys are going to react, the other one said. In other words, if the star player doesn't want him on the team, they will be cut. Megan Rapino is a 27-year-old women's soccer player who plays on the U.S. women's national team. In 2012, she came out stating one of the only reasons why she hadn't was the fact that she had never been directly asked. As far as her reception by teammates and coaches, she says it has all been extremely positive. I'm sitting next to my agent on the plane, Dan, literally turned right on, I kind of look at them and I'm like, Dan, I want to come out. I, I need to come out. I feel like this is what I, what I should do and what I want to do and what I need to do. And he just kind of looks at me and I think he could tell that I was not joking around or, or, or very serious about this and he just said, okay, let's get on it. And, and from that moment forward, um, he was behind me the entire way. It is clear that there has been a slow progression on the social acceptance of athletes in the LGBT community coming out in their respective sports. However, there is still a remaining hesitation for some to come out for whatever reason, whether that be fans, coaches, sports executives, or teammates. But there is hope that with the growing number of those already out and those in support as allies to encourage more to make that step to be out as an LGBT athlete. The You Can Play project is dedicated to ensuring equality, respect, and safety for all athletes without regard to sexual orientation. It works to guarantee that athletes are given a fair opportunity to compete, judged by other athletes and fans alike only by what they contribute to the sport or their team's success. You Can Play seeks to challenge the culture of locker rooms and spectator areas by focusing on an athlete's skills, work ethic, and competitive spirit. The You Can Play Project. Gay athletes, straight allies, teaming up for respect. If you can play, you can play. If you can play, you can play.